Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, happy Facebook Live. I'm Melissa Thomas from C2C Stamping and I'm gonna make sure that I can see our live video um, and so I can see your comments. So if you're here live, make sure you comment down below. If you're watching later on YouTube, I'd love some comments. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing that. I'm really working on growing my subscription and I would greatly appreciate it. So yay, I see us. Um, that's awesome. All right, so I can see your comments. Um, remember that I can't see that you're here unless you comment. So that's the only way that I know you're here. Uh, I've got a fun card that we're gonna make tonight and then I've got um, a new kit to show you. And I've also got um, a lot of samples from the new catalog. So uh, if you're ready, comment down below. I'm gonna make sure that the feed is live. It looks a little kitschy on my screen, but we're gonna figure it out. And then, um, yeah, we'll, uh, if you've got questions or things that you wanna see or things that you've got questions about, let me know. Um, here we go, all right. Okay. So the first thing I wanted to show you was the, um, and I'm just trying to make sure, I've got my camera in a new place today, which means I'm gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting um, just to make sure that everything's right. But this is the fun new kit um, from Stamping Up, and I think it is super, super adorable. These are the envelopes. Um, there are um, three of each card in the, um, in the pack. And I'm just going to figure out my boundaries. All right, so that's my boundary here. I moved the camera too, so why not, right? Like, do all the things. So, I think now I've got everything in camera view, so hopefully. Yay, okay, there we go. So these are, this is the new kit whose name, I can't remember, but I'll tell you. <laughs> it's um, saying thanks. And what's nice is the sentiments come in English, German, French, and Dutch, a lot of fun. And then this, you actually do pop out all the hearts. And so I've got a fun project planned with the hearts that I popped out and I'll post that on um, Instagram probably later this week um, so you can see what I did with the fun hearts. These are really easy to put together. It's actually only a $13 kit for nine cards for $13. I think it's a great deal. It's a lot of fun to split. This would be really fun to do for a birthday party. Um, you know, all kids can do this. This is super, super easy. Um, and I like that it comes, these are actually like glossy pieces and the font is kind of has a sheen to it. Um, and the colors are really fun. So that's a new kit um, with the really pretty envelopes. And um, I think that's really fun. And I think this is gonna be um, really popular. It's a great deal. So if you haven't checked that kit out, it just came out last week. Um, they will be releasing new kits every week. Um, so just FYI, I have got some fun other cards. This was actually the card I got from um, like our team leader's leader. Um, this is a new cat stamp that's super cute. And then this background paper is actually a celebration um, background paper. I was in the top 10 last month. I thought that was a really cute card. And then a couple of swaps. Um, I showed you guys last week, we made this one, right? That was fun. Um, and then I've got quite a few more to show off. So I'm gonna kind of put them on screen and show you what we've got. But we've got um, a lot of really cute product. The animal print paper, more of that kitty. Um, we've got just some really beautiful cards that are a lot of fun. And then I'm gonna show you some new ones that we made over the weekend. So I showed off a few of these um, last week, but not all of them. So I wanna make sure that I showed you all of the fun ones. That goose is so funny. Sending a big honk and thanks, that's really cute. Friend, 
Just a note. Uh, birthday queen. Super cute. There's a St. Patrick's Day kind of lucky clover one that's really cute. This one, the taco. Long time no taco. Um, there's this one. I'm actually going to take this one out of the plastic because it's a fun fold. And it's a really fancy fun fold. <laughs> so this opens like this. So you've got your little guy here. And then when this folds in like this, it can stand up. Look at that, isn't that cute? Such a cute card. I love this, this is super fancy. And I actually think, so this is by Lisa, who's on our team. I think this one's a fun fold too. This one's by Terry on our team. And I think this one, oh, it's, the, it's a half fold. I love that, that's super cute. So then we had a shoebox swap. We do these with demonstrators. Um, so demonstrators will get together right when a catalog launches and we'll teach each other how to make some really fun cards. So this was one with the new lemon suite. And then this is the cute rainy, uh, rain, sunshine or rain suite. Um, and this one has some clear kind of glossy stuff on it. So it has raindrops, like his shirt is glossy. The umbrellas are kind of wet and glossy. Um, so really cute paper, really sweet set. Um, this one is really fun. I love all the paper on that one. This is a cool one. Super fun. The flowers, I love the wildflower paper. That's a celebration paper. Beautiful, by the bay. You guys know I'm a huge sucker for that anyway. And then, of course, we had to have a little farm fun with that farm paper. So really fun opportunity to make cards um, with one another, and it's a nice perk of being a demonstrator. So um, so these are all the shoebox and normal swap cards that I've gotten recently. Um, and, you know, as a demonstrator, you know, I, you know, you send in cards and you get cards back, which is nice. Um, it gives you lots of ideas. It also gives you um, ways, you know, it gets you access to maybe stamp sets that you hadn't tried. I hadn't seen the bunny yet. He's really cute. Um, you know, I actually really like the fonts in this set. And I like the way she used the paper. So sometimes a set that didn't appeal to you maybe now appeals to you, um, but you also have lots of samples to show all your, your customers. So yay for those. All right, and then we're gonna make my shoebox swap. So my shoebox swap, oops, sorry about that. All right, so this was my shoebox swap, and it's a bridge fold card, and it features, so it does lay flat, so it'll fit into, you know, an envelope, and it features the Wildflower um, DSP, whose name I cannot remember, but it's a free item with celebration. It's a $50 item. Dainty flowers. Um, so, and then I'm featuring the stamp set, the Covered in Sunshine stamp set, if you watched the catalog launch event last week, you saw my other card for this, which was this one. So this one has clouds punched out from the new shimmer texture paper. It has the cloud uh, embossing folder in the background, which hopefully you can see. And then a fun rainbow, and I did like an emboss resist type thing here. Um, so really fun stamp set uh, a lot of fun to play with the images but we're gonna make this one so in order to make a bridge fold card you are going to need so you've got your designer series paper um, and you've got the piece that the panel that runs for the back which is four and a quarter by eight and you're gonna score it at one and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarters. And then before you glue your bridge on, you're going to glue your pieces of um, the pretty um, paper. So we're gonna line these up. So I was able to cut these and I like kind of keeping them together so you can see how they, they bridge together. And then I need some adhesive, which is here somewhere. Let's 
So we're gonna glue the panels down first. And then we're gonna stamp our sentiment on this piece. So this is also a piece of the designer series paper. There's a couple pieces that have kind of a watercolored look to them. And so these panels are just one inch by four inch, the DSP panels. And then the middle panel is four inches, and I think it's by like two and three quarters, two and seven eighths. I made it really tight um, so that it would just kind of wedge in the middle. And it gave us plenty of area to stamp on. And what's interesting to me is all the different all the different DSP um, pieces all look different because they all have different, um, you know, they all have different kind of like painting type look to them. They're, they're all watercolored, so. All right, so we're gonna stamp this sentiment in Starry Sky, which is a nice dark sentiment for this, which is what we need. And so I have two, two of these kits, and I think they both have kind of the darker, yeah, they both have darker pieces on them. All right, so we're gonna set this over here, and we're gonna stamp this. And then in my sample, I actually um, dry embossed, like with the Big Shot, uh, or the Stamp and Cut Emboss Machine, um, with the gingham, is it gingham? folder, but I'm not going to do that this time. I think it makes it a little weak, uh, and so I think that that is maybe not a great idea. And then I'm actually going to stamp this this way. I am stamping towards the top of the panel because I want the bar not to block too much of it. And then... And sometimes it's easier for me to like fold the panel. Kind of see where this is supposed to go. There we go. All right. So then these panels fold in. And then one is unfolded. And then we put the bar on. The bar is um, one inch by five and a half. So we'll do that. And I like to use a stronger adhesive like Seal Plus when I'm gluing the bar piece down um, because I know it's going to take a lot of, um, you know, a lot of stress. And so I want to make sure that it's well adhered. You could use a, a wet glue like Tombow or something as well. So, all right. So I'm not going to do that on this one, but I'm gonna do that. And then I have um, some of the dragonflies that I've punched out of the shimmery paper, which is fun. So we have a shimmer pack now that has um, three colors in it, shaded spruce, um, a gold, and fresh freesia. And I thought the gold was the most fun. So I'm going to get my glue dots and we're going to put these guys on. With this one, I had a big, a big dragonfly, but I'm going to use a small one. On this. Just a couple and then we'll be done. Um, and the sentiment's really nice on this stamp set. So, um, yeah, we'll put one one here, and then, whoop, and then I'm gonna put two on the little panel. I'm probably gonna put one kind of right here, and then I might do him, <clears throat> might pick him up and maybe I'll do him at this angle, and then, one more. 
There we go, nice. So we've got the original and the other, and you can see they both look, you know, a little bit different, um, but they're not, um, you know, they're not terrible uh, in terms of like the difference behind the color and stuff. Like I like both of them and I do, you know, may the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. So, um, thanks so much for tuning in this week. I hope you liked all the fun new things that you got to see. Um, uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I do have a hostess code right now. I'll make sure to put it in the comments. Um, and all the hostess code benefits this month um, will go towards uh, my daughter, Marianne. It's her 14th birthday. And so she gets to spend the hostess benefits this month, which is really fun. So she can get whatever stamps, ink, and paper that she wants to get. So um, thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you have a great week. Um, and um, thank you so much for all your support. Um, I have closed registration for my um, January class, but I will open up registration for my February class soon. And, um, and then uh, right now, Paper Pumpkin is ongoing for the month of February, um, and it does feature the uh, rain or sunshine, um, like a coordinating... Uh, sweet is the rain or sunshine sweet which is the really cute one that has the like the frog and the fox and everything um, and so it's this one and then it has um, some coordinating dyes and a little frog and like coordinating uh, epoxy raindrops so I think the February paper pumpkin is gonna be really really cute and I'm looking forward to getting a chance to play with it. So if you're not subscribing to Paper Pumpkin and you'd like more info on that, let me know. Um, prepaid Paper Pumpkins are the way to go. You save money and you earn your um, celebration benefits. So who wouldn't want to do that? All right, I'm going to rotate this up and say good night. Good night. See you later. Have a great night uh, and a wonderful week. And I will see you later. Bye-bye, y'all.